Hi everyone and welcome to this edition of Bible Break. I am Ray Gaucher coming to you from Miracle Beach on Vancouver Island right in between Courtney and Campbell River and it is an absolutely beautiful view as you can tell. <laughs> the ocean is right there, the Strait of Georgia, that's what that is right there. And of course we've got a lot of the other islands on the other side. It is beautiful, it is sunny, it is a little bit windy, the waves are chopping up against the shore. It is really a super place to come to. Um, There's a few places I was exploring, but I actually asked somebody as I was looking around, is there a nice place I can go to where it's not so busy, but you know, I could still sit down at a picnic table and enjoy reading a book. And this girl said, yeah, go to Miracle Beach. So here I am. And so far I've been very happy with it. Friends, we're going to be reading out of the book of Psalms. Today, it's not going to be a very long one because this is a very extended life on the road with Yeshua and Trucker Ray video. If you are watching this Bible break on its own, um, welcome as well. Uh, 19 verses of this one. This is Psalm 116, which is a wonderful psalm to show this psalmist shows his appreciation and love and awe towards Yahweh. It's very touching, it's very special, and I hope you enjoy it. We will be reading out of the King James translation, the revised fourth edition. <clears throat> I love this translation, and you'll see why when I read it. So let's open up with prayer, shall we? Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for your word. I thank you for this beautiful surrounding, the waves, the ocean, the trees, uh, the animals, the ravens, the crows, just what a beautiful place to be. And I thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. Would you please bless everyone that's watching this video right now with the words that I'm going to read. And Lord, may everything I say, do, and think bring you glory during this reading. Amen. Psalms 116, if you want to read along, it is the King James translation. You might notice a few words different. Some Hebrew words added in there, but that is all a part, all about this translation. It's wonderful. So here we go. Are you ready? I love Yahweh because he hath heard my voice and my supplications. We're going to stop there for a second. Does God hear all our prayers? Absolutely. Does he hear our supplications? Every one of them. Why doesn't he answer my prayers? Because the simple answer to that is sometimes it's yes, sometimes it's no, sometimes it's wait. But God does hear every one of our prayers. Sometimes I feel, and there are times where I'm praying and I feel like, Lord, are you, are you not hearing me? And you know, some of that could also have to do with where is our heart? Are we close to God? Are we being obedient to him? Because God, the Bible also says that God does not hear the prayers of a disobedient individual, disobedient person. So, think about that too. All right, verse 2. Because he hath inclined his ear unto me, therefore I will call upon him as long as I live. That's nice, isn't it? The sorrows of the death come past me, and the pains of the grave that hold upon me. I found trouble and sorrow. So it sounds like this psalmist is a little concerned about dying. Maybe he is dying. Maybe he's getting close to death. And he's just feeling a little bit depressed about it. Verse 4. Then called I upon the name of Yahweh, O Yahweh, I beseech thee, deliver my soul. Please, Lord, I'm feeling down. Please deliver me and raise me up. I'm paraphrasing. Gracious is Yahweh, and righteous, yea, our Elohim is merciful. He is. He's incredibly merciful. How do I know? Because I'm still alive. <laughs> I mess up all the time. He is merciful. If he's merciful towards me, he will be merciful towards you. Verse 6, Yahweh preserveth the simple. I was brought low and he helped me. Return unto thy rest, O my soul, for Yahweh hath dealt bountifully with thee. For thou hast delivered my soul from death, mine eyes from tears, my feet from falling. I really like that. Don't you like that? 
For thou hast delivered my soul from death, mine eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. That's something you should put on a plaque and put up on a wall. That's amazing. Verse 10, I believed, therefore, have I spoken. Sorry, I believed, therefore I have spoken. I was greatly afflicted. Verse 11, I said, in my haste, all men are liars. What shall I render unto Yahweh? What shall I render unto Yahweh for all his benefits towards me? I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of Yahweh. I will take the cup of salvation. Has the Lord offered you salvation? Have you denied it? Have you declined it? Or will you accept it? I will pay my vows unto Yahweh now in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of Yahweh is the death of his saints. O oh, Yahweh, truly I am thy servant. I am thy servant and thy son of thy handmaid. Thou hast loosed my bonds. I want to back up to 15. Something's telling me to bring this up again. Precious in the sight of Yahweh is the death of his saints. Why do you think that he would say that? The only thing that I can think of, and I might be wrong, and like my buddy Adrian Scott, my colleague, I always like to say, he likes to say, we both like to say, go into the Bible for yourself and study verses that somebody else may be reading to you that you're not quite sure if that's true. Go check it for yourself. Don't believe every single thing that I say. Go test it for yourself. The Bible tells us to test what we hear. But if we look at verse 15, precious in the sight of Yahweh is the death of his saints. Now, if I'm reading this, the first thing I'm thinking of, his saints. Who are his saints? Believers? Are we worthy to be called saints? Sure. So if we're, his, if we're saints, if he's saying the death of his saints, then that's a good thing when we die because what? We're going to be in his presence. Where else would the saints go? This is just me guessing this. I don't really know if it says, if this is what it means. Precious in the sight of Yahweh is the death of his saints. It sounds mean, but it's not. I can see Yahweh rejoicing when his saints die because now we get to spend an eternity with him. You may or may not agree with that, but that's what it sounds like to me. Verse 16, O Yahweh, truly I am thy servant. I am thy servant and the son of thine handmaid. Thou hast loosed my bonds. I will offer to thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving and will call upon the name of Yahweh. I will pay my vows unto Yahweh now in the presence of all his people in the courts of Yahweh's house. In the midst of thee, O Jerusalem, praise ye Yah. <laughs> wow. Verse 160, or should I say chapter 116, verses 1 down to 19, and that's the entire length of the uh, psalm. Isn't that amazing? Man, I could almost read that again. I'm up against Psalm 117. I can't resist. You want to do one more psalm? Okay, let's do Psalm 117. Two verses. <laughs> it's only two verses. Praise, oh praise Yahweh, all ye nations. Praise him, all ye people. Verse 2. For his merciful kindness is great towards us, and the truth of Yahweh endureth forever. Praise ye Yah. That's it. Two verses, Psalm 117. Wouldn't that have been funny? All right, everybody, let's uh, do our Bible break here. Psalm 117, let's go! Ten seconds and it's over. I'm sure some people would enjoy that because they're tired of hearing me yak anyway. But there you go, Psalm 116 and 117. And I think I'm going to enjoy some of this beautiful weather because 
Fall is coming quickly and it's, it's just gorgeous out here. All right, guys, until next time, blessings in the name of Yeshua. Thank you for joining me on this edition of Bible Break. Please subscribe and like and do subscribe to our podcast. You'll find that information in the description below where you can hear everything that's uploaded on Truth and Testimony, the broadcast. And... Well, not everything on, on the other channel, but Truth and Testament of the Broadcast and anything that's biblical, you'll hear on our podcast. Podbean. Look in the description below. Again, subscribe, like, and share, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.